Who do you think would win the fight between the king of the jungle and the tallest mammal in the world? Can anyone beat the king of the jungle? Appearance The giraffe is a species of long-necked, cud-chewing, hoofed mammals with towering legs. They have a coat pattern of irregular brown patches on a lighter background, where no two individuals have exactly the same pattern. Their tongue has a black, blue, or purple coat with a somewhat pink base. Both sexes possess a pair of horns, although males have other bony projections on their skulls. Their hindquarters are adorned with large muscles that support their necks, as these muscles are attached to the long spine of their seven neck vertebra. Their tails have a tuft of black hair at the tip. The lion is a powerfully built mammal, second in size after the tiger in the cat family. These iconic creatures have a yellow gold coat with a large head and short legs. Their tail tips have a tuft of hair, usually darker than the individual's coat. These species exhibit sexual dimorphism, where the males possess a distinct, thick mane around their head and neck. The color of the mane is dark, almost black, making them appear larger. Females are smaller than males. Size Male giraffes weigh up to 4,250 pounds, that's 1,930 kilograms, while females grow up to 2,600 pounds, or 1,180 kilograms. Their tremendously long necks and legs allow them to reach an average height of 18 feet, or 5.5 meters for the males, also known as bulls, and 14 feet, that's 4.5 meters for the females, also known as cows. Lions, on the other hand, can weigh between 370 to 500 pounds, that's 170 to 230 kilograms, and a 7-foot, 1.8 to 2.1 meters body length. That corresponds to a shoulder height of 1.2 meters for the males, while the females can achieve a weight of 265 to 400 pounds, that's 120 to 180 kilograms, a body length of 1.5 meters, and a shoulder height of 0.9 to 1.1 meters. Lifespan Giraffes can live up to 26 years in the wild, but achieve longer years in captivity, while adult lions can live 10 to 14 years in the wild. Behavior Giraffes typically live in non-territorial groups of up to 20 individuals. Though they may seem widely scattered, their excellent eyesight enables them to keep watch on their neighbors as well as spot predators from afar. They are diurnal and spend most of their time browsing tall trees or standing. However, they may have short instants of sleep in the daytime and that is exactly how giraffes sleep and give birth, standing up. Bulls establish dominance to mate to female by necking, which may at times progress to exchanging blows. In contrast, lions are rather territorial animals, living in groups called prides, with an average size of 15 individuals, although they can be as many as 40 members. The females are rather functional than the males, as they hunt for food for the group as the males keep watch and defend their territory against intruding members. They mark their territories by roaring and scent marking. This is how lion prides work. Unlike the giraffes, lions are nocturnal creatures who spend most of their day sleeping. Strength The giraffe's legs are incredibly powerful, each supplemented with a 12-inch or 30-centimeter hoof. Their kick can generate a force of 2,000 pounds per square inch, which is about the strongest kick ever recorded from a horse. Besides their masculine physique, lions are dammed with a bite force of 650 pounds per square inch adorned with a set of 3-inch, that's 10-centimeter canines, to rip through skin and tear meat. Speed Giraffes can maintain speeds of up to 31 miles per hour, or 50 kilometers per hour, for several kilometers, but can attain 37 miles per hour, that's 60 kilometers per hour, over short distances. When running, they flex their necks to maintain balance. Lions can run fast, reaching speeds of up to 50 miles per hour, that's 80 kilometers per hour. In short bursts, due to their lack of stamina, they can also leap to a significant 36 feet. Attack and defense. Though equipped to only fight against their equally taller males, giraffes defend themselves against predators by kicking with either their fore or hind quarters. Their large and heavy hooves are strong enough to break the back of a lion, as well as some ribs and even crack their skull. Lions are apex predators, their reputable ferocity precedes them. When faced by an adversary, their stature and roar alone are enough to scare away the enemy. However, for adamant contenders, their clawed paws and heavy bite force could save the day for them.
Who would win? Well yes, scenes of giraffes killing a lion are more frequent than vice versa. Though the lion is the king of the jungle, taking on a giraffe is a highly risky move. Among other factors, the lion kills by suffocating their prey, but the giraffe's neck is too high, unless when attacking a young giraffe or sick individuals lying on the ground. The chances are minimal to such an encounter. Under usual circumstances, a herd of lions would attack the giraffe one by one, each with a relentless attempt to take him down. They pointlessly try to knock him off his feet by biting into the giraffe's thighs, but the lion's efforts go down the drain. The giraffe manages to kick some members off him. Though his kicks are poorly aimed, a well-placed one could be fatal to a lion. As the others adamantly try to bite into his hindquarters by a hitch on a ride, the giraffe simply shakes them off and walks free. The tag could go on for several hours, but the giraffe would still stand firm waiting for his opportunity to kick. A lion is therefore no match for a giraffe due to its colossal size and height. Although the match could go ballistic, since a rattled giraffe can easily finish off these felines by stomping on them. Now, who do you think would win? Share with us in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.